I must say that today was Labyrinth's day to overcome the meta. Make sure you guys smash the leaving crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more Oz content. We have the six Kongs cards tournament here for the seven days of craziness that they were having. Um, but your top 16 breakdown. We have two Unchained, actually. That's uh, it's actually pretty interesting. We have our two Labyrinth. Okay, we also have two brand new Chimera versions of the deck floating out. It's not it's bigly something I've seen really a lot of here. And then we had two Fire Kings. I see there's a little bit more excitement out here for that deck. Okay, your one ups, you have one Rescue Ace, one Tier Limits, one Purely, a Dragon Link, a Centurion. Centurion has been showing some pretty interesting results out here. We also had one Mana DM, a Runic Bysteel Pile. We've, uh, we know how cool that deck has been. And then we also have a Synchro Turbo deck out here. Also kind of bringing up a little bit more of the rear here. I, uh, I like what I'm seeing. Now your top eight. We had two Labyrinth decks. That means out of the top 16 turnover, both of your Labyrinth Duelist got seats at the top of the meta. I'm fairly impressed with that turnover, actually, because Labyrinth has been struggling for a majority of these tournaments. So to see that, you know, they finally got the chance to kind of step on ahead here and showcase, hey, you know, we, we're doing something here. I, I actually like that a lot. We also had one tier limit sitting at the dinner table. One of our branded Chimera decks did make their way on in to top eight. We also have a Rescue Ace Duelist, a purely... Unchained, yet again. Okay, so our Unchained uh, did definitely make it pretty far. And we also have that Runic Bysteel pile. And once again, I mean, <laughs> Runic Bysteel, ever since it showed up out of its regional, it's been a very strong contender. I, I know a lot of people don't really know how to handle it, but the deck really is unique in the way that it approaches handling the problems of the meta. I think that's good. Let's pass on over to those deck lists. Winning our event here is actually Labyrinth sporting off triple copies of skill drain. Now this is not something that I have seen a lot of Labyrinth Duelist kind of doing, but the fact that, you know, hey, this deck can actually kind of keep up with the meta with a little bit form of uh, degeneracy, actually I'm, I'm not that surprised. I think a lot of people maybe you need to consider maining skill drain in this deck because it, it gives you a chance to kind of blink out a lot of the meta and it proves like how kind of stupid Labyrinth can be with good cards. Next up here, our second place list, we have uh, Illusion good stuff here. Sporting off some Phantasmaze in the main deck. Of course, we have the Crossout Designators. I like making sure that my cards can resolve. You do see the Purely Leap down here as well. The Tech Choice of Tech Choices, because we do not want our opponent getting any of that degeneracy that uh, is known as Purely. And same thing, we don't want to get shiftered either. I, I like... This deck is kind of covering its bases, and it's actually kind of interesting to see out here. Next up, we have... Huh, we have tier elements. I'm happy to see the tier has finally moved up the blockchain here. I see that we have two copies of Fenrir in the main. It's a little bit standard. And of course, you see everybody's favorite card in the whole wide world, Mud Mud here. It's going to be just King of the Swamp actually getting the chance to, uh, you know, show us the polymerization. is actually just the best card that you could ever want to play in this deck. And that it helps the entirety of the combo just generate advantage. Interesting. Next up here, uh, we have our Runic Bysteel good stuff. And of course, I mean, you, you wanted an excuse as to why Quem has gone up in so much value. Well, guess what? This deck maximizes on the numbers of this. All right, like this card, just make sure that you can get the game going. I see, of course, the Branded Beast. Um, this is interesting. I will say that I, I'm still intrigued by the way that this deck gets the chance to even actually function, but interesting. All right, we have more Labyrinth. Gotta love the extra apps. Hey, look, we're just doing the exact same thing that our other list did. You see that the skill drains come down, they do their thing. So both duels were pretty much on the same mindset for this event. We're gonna toggle through, we're gonna abuse, you know, power cards like these and this, and we're gonna make sure that, you know, we can actually get the W. And it worked out. I mean, like, consistency is always going to prove that you can cover your bases and do very, very well. And we have Rescue Ace. Man, I can't wait to 
actually see this deck of all. Um, I, some interesting little tech choices here. I see that we have the Forbidden Lances in here as well. That's kind of interesting. I mean, okay. Um, I see that we are citing barrier statues with the Gizmek Ukas. Um, I am not a crazy fan of that. Um, it's it's cute to see, you know, like, Uka interactions, but okay, sure, barrier statues. Glad to see you two are doing well. And we also have Purely. Ha, huh, this build is uh, sporting off some interesting little Econs in this deck. We've noticed that Purely has been playing a lot more of these as of late. And I will say that it's, it's actually been kind of cool um, seeing Econ actually kind of step on into the light here and, you know, helping out purely of all decks. Because most of the time I'm used to just seeing this, you know, showing up in like Rescue Ace. So, okay, I'll, I'll take it. And our last top eight list here is, oh man, Unchained. I see that we are playing the Sangin in here. That's, that's a pretty big no brainer at this point. We also see the Spellbounds instead of the Mistaken Arrest, which has been pretty common. And you see the big old Triple Tactics Talent doing its thing as well um to be honest with you um you're still doing the ddd package so you don't get a lot of room for you know the excitement that this deck is supposed to bring to the meta and of course hey ninth place we have dragon link i uh 44 cards i i don't think is much of a problem you see the main decking of the triple tactics uh thrust has been pretty much tossed into the side for a majority of this form i don't see anybody really trying too hard to break this and then we do see the herald of the abyss for the thrust and even the change our heart back here as well you gotta love the fact that you get all of these little fun cards to tell your opponent no all right next up here we have hmm more chimera branded illusion and yes that is the master tau the enchanter i can't wait to actually get the next little illusion card that way we can actually add it into the deck and see this deck undergo another level of evolution and trust me when i say this every time we add more into the illusion toolbox you're just strengthening this already strong pool of good stuff so i i can't wait to see what more they can actually do and we have our first fire king deck hi uh, this build is actually playing book of eclipse interesting so you want to make sure that you can flip down and take care of any problems that your opponent might be throwing at you but to be honest with you like what is fire king i mean purely like i understand that could be a little bit of an issue but okay we do see the uh subdiversion snake eye down here until we get the ability for this deck to kind of turbo out more snake eye stuff i think it's going to suffer a little bit next up here we have more fire king wow both of them Back to back. Now, this build is sporting off the rekindling. Uh, we've seen both of these duels trying out some of these ideas, which is kind of cute. Uh, you also do see the pot of extravagance in this. I mean, this deck trying to supplement ways to overcome, you know, the advantage hurdles that it currently faces. It shouldn't be facing these. Like, this deck should just be gas, gas, but, like, it just proves, like, how much you need that Snake Eyes extension cards to help this deck out. Next up here, we have our Centurion deck. See that we are playing the Cross of Designators. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. I see that we are playing an Ultimate Slayer package in here, and we're actually main decking the Evil Twin stuff to be able to burn through the opponent. That is wild. And then we do see the Solemn Scolding package down here as well, so you can go ahead and burst through this, especially with, you know, some side decking options to ensure that, you know, you can set up. Okay, interesting. Next up here, we have some Unchained good stuff. Oh, boy. Uh, once again, still playing the DDD package. I see that we are still playing interesting tech choices for Droplet here instead of something like the Enemy Controller. So this actually works out pretty good. We do have the One Thrust and the Double Talents in the main deck. And then you see we do have the Mistaken Arrest down here for post side decking to uh, help blow out your opponent. Same thing with the Super Polys. Yeah, everything that you uh, want to see in the meta is check, check and check next up here we have our mana dm list wow this is really far down here you do see that we still are playing the droplets for the board breaking i see that we do have the draw and lock birds post side decking along with ashes so you do bring in more of those standardized hand traps to assist you in your you know pretty terrible matchups where you need them uh no thrust we're just playing the two talents interesting and only two vices star frost i i do like that they do try to cut down on this stuff but interesting and our last list out of this event 
was our Stardust Turbo Synchro deck. Sporting off triple copies of tuning so you can kind of get the combos going. Uh, we still are doing the Sinful Spoils package. You know, you want to make sure that you can see, you know, Jet Synchro on it kind of go. And of course, both side decking, you see Phantasma kind of walk on in here and assist the deck. And we also have Spellbound in here, face up in the side deck as well to assist us. But outside of that, just Synchro Turbo, Turbo through and uh, do your thing. So that's your conclusion to the sixth one of these. Please leave a comment down below to what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here in day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.